Most people don't even realize that the Pipedrive mobile app has some useful hidden features, some of which aren't even available on the desktop app. Here are five that you might have missed. Hello, my name is Paul Miners. Welcome back to another one of our Pipedrive training videos. Now, sometimes as a business owner or as a salesperson, you're on the road visiting clients and you don't have access to Pipedrive via the normal desktop app. The good news is that with Pipedrive's mobile app, you can stay connected to all of your deals, contacts and notes while you're on the go. But what you may have missed is that there are some useful hidden features available in the mobile app. And that's what we're going to explore in this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And if you would like one on one help with setting up or optimizing Pipedrive for your business, maybe you want to automate more of your sales process, or maybe you just need training for you and your team. If so, then click the link in the description to book an introductory call with us. And we'd love to learn more about how we can help you with Pipedrive. For this video, I'm gonna be showing you the mobile app on the iPhone. So Android users, I believe your app looks similar, but there may be some slight differences. Now, the first feature you may have missed is hidden in the more options. And then if you click on nearby, it brings up a map and you can see your current location. Now, along the top, you can choose to look at either deals, organizations, or in this case, people that are nearby. Now, this is pulling from the address custom field of your contact people or organizations or deals. So if I were to go over here to Auckland City and uh, search this area, I can see the pins of all the people nearby or in this area. I can then look at the results at the bottom. I can tap on a contact and get directions to wherever that person is. So this is a great little feature if you are on the road and want to drop in or say hello to clients in your area. Okay. Feature number two. Now, isn't it annoying when you get a call from a prospect or even a client and their phone number shows up, but you don't actually know it's them. You don't have them saved as a contact in your phone. Maybe because you can't sync your Google contacts or Microsoft contacts to your phone. Maybe it's a company policy. The good news is with Pipedrive's caller ID feature, your phone can actually look through your Pipedrive contacts to identify who's calling. To enable this feature on the iPhone, simply go to your phone's settings, go down to apps at the bottom, and then go to the phone app. Now in here, if you go to the very bottom, there's a call blocking and identification section, and you should see pipe drive as an option. You simply need to turn that on and then your iPhone can look through the contacts in the pipe drive app when somebody calls to identify who that person is and that their name will show up in the caller ID. Number three, call logging. Now, if you go to the more menu and this time go down to preferences, you'll see a call logging option, which you can turn on. Now, this is really useful because, and if you've watched my videos before, you've probably heard me say this already. If it's not in pipe drive, it didn't happen. So when we work with clients, we always tell them, make sure that after you've had a conversation with a prospect, you actually log that you had a call and you write down your notes. Because if you're anything like me, you'll have a conversation today and next week or next month when you're talking to them again, you've forgotten everything. A CRM is only as good as what you put into it. So with the call logging feature turned on, you will be prompted to log the call and write your notes once you finish a conversation. And the nice thing about this is you can be placing the call just from the contact app. You don't even need to be in pipe drive. You can just call from your phone contacts. And if I answer this now, so I can then have my call with the prospect. And then once I hang up, I can navigate back to the pipe drive app and you'll see I'm being prompted to log the call. And there's even a box where I can quickly type in my notes or write a summary of what we talked about. Okay, number four, quick one here. With the Pipedrive app on your home screen, you can long press on the app and there are shortcuts to quickly add a deal, activity, or person. So this is great if you are at an event, you meet someone, you quickly wanna create a deal so you don't forget to follow up. It just makes opening the app and creating that deal a lot quicker and easier. And tip number five. Now, when you open the app on your phone, you will land on the focus screen. Now, I really like this page because it's not available on the desktop app and it shows you at a quick glance any activities you have due that day, emails that you can read, or comments from your team that you've been at mentioned on. And I really just like the quick shortcuts here. So that's a nice feature, not very hidden, but it's cool. 
But the hidden part is if you swipe one of your activities, you can quickly postpone it to tomorrow or the next day. Because sometimes, you know, you've got follow-ups like calls here, you don't have time today, you can quickly sw swipe, bump it to tomorrow or shift it to next week. And that way you don't, you're not forgetting about it or you're not letting that activity go overdue. You can quickly shift it to the next day when you're gonna come back to it later. Now I would say that probably 90 to 95% of my usage of Pipedrive is on the desktop app because I'm normally at my computer. I'm not really on the road that much. Um, but it is useful having the app available to quickly access my deals and input notes when I'm not in front of my computer. I would also like to see Pipedrive add more support for certain iOS features like home screen widgets and lock screen and control center buttons as well. If you agree with me and if you have ideas for how to make the app better, leave me a comment down below because I'm going to be sharing this video with the Pipedrive team. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.